I wait to everyone, this is Megalos Pastor. Welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Um, uh, the game is still starting, so don't worry if you can't see it just yet. Um, I think it's not quite visible in OBS until, um, until we actually get to the main menu. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh oh. The yawns have officially commenced at 10:27 p.m. Got a late start. Sorry about that. Um, I had errands to do earlier today, and it was just wearing me out. And I took a good long nap after I got home. Uh, uh oh, is OBS having a problem? Let's refresh that. It might just be. I just feel my end. Alright. Uh, select. Um, let's see. Can we do anything to make it run faster without severely compromising things? to figure out what the controls would be for a PS4 controller because you can actually use that with Steam games, but I don't know what the control scheme would be. Um, that's right, you have to uh, connect it right to the computer to do it. Um, let's unplug my wireless headphones charger. So, um, last time, which was our first uh, stream of this blind playthrough, um, we discovered that we had already resolved to kill somebody, but we had lost our memories since then, and were being chased by some dark force. But, you know, past me really, really, really wants this guy dead for some reason. So we're going to find out more about that. Let's see. Um, yeah. Excuse me one moment. I'm just gonna try um, to make sure the PS4 controller is um, connected. Um, I'm just messing around in Steam right now. Um, I mean. If it's not going to connect, it's not a big deal. I mean, I didn't even bother to try this much at all. Did that do what I think it just did? Oh well. Yeah, let's not bother with this now. I could try it another time. But, I just want to play the game. Which is already gonna be a tiny bit slow and laggy. Sorry about that. Um, this this six-year-old laptop on its last legs. So I'm trying to milk it as long as I can. So let's do this one. Alexander Frenenberg, whom we were supposed to kill, got his start as the understudy to an archaeologist. Um, and, like his mentor, I've been withholding things from him, which probably piqued his dark curiosity somehow. Um, 
what is down this? What is that to? I guess if it were immediately to a new section. Yeah, I still need to get the chemicals from uh, the wine cellar. So let's go do that. Um, uh oh. My OBS is not wanting to load this at all. Oh, my phone isn't even connected to Wi Fi now. Uh, we've been having such bad internet. It's not as bad as we used to have it. Uh, you know, like several weeks ago. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. Um, so I guess it should be counting my blessings, but it's definitely not been optimal. Got everything out of there. Do these bugs do anything, or are they just there for show? Can we break these? I think they seem to be solid as a rock, but... any worse than that, so I guess we're good. <coughs> the sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crested lips. So yes, I'm going to be voice acting in a received pronunciation accent for a lot of this.
good I tried to save the oil. Has there been an enemy? It's giving me that hint, but I haven't seen one. Maybe it's because I noped out of there fast enough. Does that jiggle? Great. Uh. He is host to me. Hey, Labusta and Marluxia. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the host, uh, Mar and. Uh, welcome both of you. How are you doing tonight? Sorry, I'm just a little involved right now. Uh... Um... Yeah, that's probably a dumb use of, uh, tinderboxes to light both of them, but oh well. supposed to be a little less sane than normal. Picked up cube right. I wonder, could you use these to hide if you had to? Because I saw, like, you'd have to hide when an enemy is near. They gave me that hint, so I think I'm gonna make myself a hiding place just in case. Yeah, I heard you had mentioned that it's the scariest game you've played by far. I, I didn't get to see any of it. I mostly wanted to stay blind with this playthrough, but yeah, I'll have to catch it at another time you do it. So don't give you a whole bunch of light. Oh, I keep hitting the leaning button instead of uh, walking forward. Uh, is there anything? There's gotta be something hidden in this mess. If I moved all these barrels for nothing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, it's looking that way. <sighs> Crap. Are you... I 
can't jump on top of them? Oh, well, maybe I can. Maybe I'm just impatient. There's gotta be something in this corner at least, right? I'm imagining they put all these barrels here because we'll have to hide here eventually, but... sure what to think of this game like I don't want to say I'm not enjoying it because um, I think I am enjoying it but it's just so off the wall it's hard to kind of make sense of it so far so I don't really have an opinion um, mm -hmm. uh, okay Let's try to figure out where to go, <laughs> and then we'll venture out into the unknown. Um, so... to that tinderbox apparently. Oh, let's hope we find some more. Okay, so we can't read this very conspicuous note here. <laughs> develops on the brain just out of fear. <laughs> That's... It's interesting. Not entirely accurate, but it's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Um, seem to be a lot of like useless crates and stuff that aren't really hiding anything in particular. So, you know, I might be overreaching, but let's try to make another alcove for hiding.
slide it out. Um, <laughs> I could be you thinking the completely wrong way here, but I figure it's worth a shot. And hey, it's. I don't think it's gonna, you know, be a bad thing, so let's check it out. Um, uh, it, see, we already have that table sort of, you know, on our one side. So we're just kind of already completing this sort of blockade. Um, oh, notes to the grindstone mark. the whole time. I was wondering why we had that much light. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Precarious little balance act there. Um, might not be so good for sanity. Is but... anyone there? box. Oh, uh, it's just a book. There's gotta be something here. arbitrary things that don't really matter. So let's look at this light. And how are we doing? Same to same. A few cuts and bruises. How do we heal then? the appropriate apparatus well what will that be um, okay organic so I have calamine and cuprite um, Organic tissue. And what did this say? Chemicals must be prepared using the appropriate apparatus. Well, this is the appropriate apparatus, I think. I just don't have all the chemicals. So that's kind of a weird way to put it. Wait. Time for a refill. Uh... Ah. Is that it? If it is... No. I see something back. Oh, it's just... Nice. 
Oh, we got back to a slight headache. Nice. All right. guessing first enemy so we'll be in that room all right I just entered the wine cellar um, I haven't been in every room of it yet um, that's what I'm trying okay so you have to hold left mouse the move forward, and as you're moving forward, um, um, hit right mouse. It's kind of awkward on keyboard, uh, but yeah, I want to figure out how to sync this with my PS4 controller because I know you can do that with Steam. Um, ah, you can pull. They didn't tell you that. Wish they would have told me that. But I know it would kind of defeat the purpose, but those little um, candlesticks, they look like they're made to be moved. If that you can't move them, it just uh, gets on me for some reason. What? What is this place? You know what? It's gonna take me a little while. Let's just light this. Might regret it later. Don't care. No regrets. Well, it's out of the way. Let's um, put that over there. Okay, I guess we can't pick it up, but we can pull it. We still haven't moved everything on this shelf, but I doubt there's anything to see or find. out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot. <laughs> I tried to turn away so it wouldn't get in the mic, but this is a headset. <laughs> oh. Well. It's not the dumbest thing I've done while playing this game, so...
maybe it wasn't the best decision since there are windows right here, but... Uh-oh. I don't know what's up there, but... Since, uh, this end of the room is closed, let's start here and work our way over to the more open area. Um... Okay, so that's the first health item. <sighs> if this were real life, I would be so screwed. <laughs> I am just as klutzy in uh, real life. Um, hiding physics are generous. Um, so how... I might as well ask you, how much does the laudanum heal? Like, I'm at a few cuts and bruises. Um, would I be wasting it if I used it now? Um. Oh. Maybe Marlon's just not here anymore. Oh well. Conservative management then. Until we know for sure. I was really pushing my luck. Uh... I wonder, would he see me moving these boxes? It's just a thought. It's like there's a uh, <laughs> there's a delay in um in um when I press the buttons to start dragging stuff and when it actually starts moving. Let's center this a little more. I'm gonna keep shuffling this along, I don't care. If that thing's still here, whatever it was. Were those my footsteps? You see, this is what bugged me about Outlast. A lot of the time... Don't you dare. A lot of the time... You couldn't tell whether your character, Miles, was making those loud footstep sounds or it was something someone else and it is just it's one of those games that turned out to be more frustrating than scary um i love the lore and i loved the ending of the main quest i still have to do 
whistleblower DLC, which is what I'm going to be doing after uh, I complete this game. Trying to make sense of these box dimensions while it's so dark. I'm just going to move sneakily. So I'm in the light. Does that count? Do natural sources of light count? I bet they just wanted to put this here just in case. Sort of like the top of a monster's head or something. I think that's dastardly. How, how many tinderboxes do we have? Three? shelf. <sighs> this game is messing with me. Which must make it a good game. <laughs> save here. <laughs> okay. How far back are we? Where did the baron go? 
Who cares? He left us in a blind the last of a lifetime. Or at least the till tomorrow. <laughs> All right. At least we could skip over some stuff we know is not places. Nothing there. Nothing there, I think. I'm assuming that that first enemy is in that one room we came across. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Accept this. We're not getting out of here. all that oil. Ugh, this game. It's starting to become ruthless. Okay, so these are pieces of Wilhelm.
pick that up. Let's get what we know is in this room. a limit as to how sane you can become. I'm wondering if some areas of the game pose a limit where you can't become so sane. Yes, I know. That's what I'm doing. I was gonna call it reverse Jenga, I don't know if that's entirely accurate. Anyway, there's something very Kafka-esque about this. Everything was fine the first way through with this. It took me a little of, a bit of figuring out to do, but still, it was fine.
gone for now. Um, I hope staying with like slightly impaired health doesn't uh, decrease your sanity. Because I plan on using these health things conservatively. I mean, they gave me this laudanum. They made me get hurt in a scripted event and then gave me a laudanum, so it's probably safe to use it now, but... slight possibility that announcement could be wasted if I use it now, so. Step into the light. Step into the light, my son. Anything over here? Don't think there was, but... stuck back there again. Territory. I'm not liking this. This is also reminding me of the um, Edgar Allan Poe short story, The Cask of Amontillado. Um, great short story, by the way. Um, I almost named this stream that because I thought it would, since we were going to the wine cellar and I knew that. Um, and we're sort of, sort of murderous. Our past me told our present me to murder someone. And, well, we're not exactly saying no. We can't really know Daniel's thoughts at this moment, but. Uh, I don't like those misplaced footsteps. Subtitles on for that. Maybe only for like proper flashback cutscenes. There could be stuff hiding behind here. No, are these just unclickable rows of bottles? Aha! The darkness reveals all. area. That's back out there. What's this too? Oh, okay. So you're supposed to grab that. I know I'm going through oil so fast.
venture to say there's nothing helpful to me here. Uh... But yeah, if you haven't played Outlast, the boost, then you have it. Um, I'd do the main quest. Because uh, we're going to be doing the DLC soon. And, well, I don't know how much the DLC will spoil the main quest for you. Oh, did we? We picked that up, okay. Just double checking. Um, I'm gonna stay in the light more. Yes, yes. Moaning. So scary. I'd be cowering in a corner if this happened to me in real life. But I'm talking to Big Talk now. and bruises, um, and not using the laudanum right away. By the way, if you don't know what laudanum is, it's a medicine that they don't use anymore. It's a mixture of opium and alcohol, both very addictive substances that can ruin a person's life. Um, I have people overdose on it all the time. I just have to find, um... Let's see. So we need Aqua Regia, but I have a feeling they're gonna give us Aqua Fortis first. ending of the main quest spoiled for me because I saw someone speedrunning it and they had the the sound turned off so they could have song requests on. But because there was no sound and the guy was running through it so quickly I didn't understand it. So it was almost like I wasn't spoiled after all. Uh, but I actually I know of the the one bit in Whistleblower like I'll just stop talking about it there. I think the DLC is supposed to um, revolve around the guy that sent the uh, the protagonist from the main quest the letter about um, the 
Asylum in the first place. You know, the one who blew the whistle. One Murkoff. Nothing left in this awful place. There was one place that said we have to go to the wine cellar before we could go into that area, so let's try that. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to have to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Holtensia, headed for London. Calm your teas. I'm getting into a source of light pronto. How's that? Basking in the rays of sunshine. Um, so, uh, should we go up? Should we go down? That's where that is. Might as well go where there's light. I like the squeaky, flashy sounds that this is making. Uh, the textures and animations are low, so I don't know if there's actually supposed to be some animation that would merit these squeaky sounds, but... Alan Wake. I've heard the combat is repetitive, but it's otherwise a good story. Um, I've seen a bit of detention that looks pretty awesome. Um, uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine. I've heard of it. Um, don't know what kind of game it is. I, I'm assuming it's an adventure game. No, I didn't mean all tab. I was holding alt to run, and I hit tab to see my inventory. Um, this light head ain't good. Yeah. Let's see, what's up here? actually look at light or do you have to just be in light? Oh yeah. I tried to set it on like a high priority in task manager, the chat box, but whatever. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. Yeah. My chat box doesn't want to fully load. Um. Oh, 
okay. Rare books, okay. Wait, we were in here. We were in this part already. I'm fairly certain. But... Just check again. This first room doesn't have anything. I think it's safe to say we can just nope out. Okay. Um... Nothing in the fireplace? Alright. Uh, nothing in between bookcases. Let's go. Oh, what a mode is that? Uh, be oh, better hurry. Oh, uh, call it Cthulhu, I guess. Um, makes sense. I've never played any of the Call of Cthulhu games, but Lovecraftian books often refer to text, like these dark tones. So that's that way. Is there actually something this way? I swear, there was a room that we couldn't enter until we'd entered the wine cellar. Now I just gotta figure out where that is. Oh, those urns respawned, so... I guess I shouldn't be too worried about... Yeah, fragile things being irretrievable when broken. Hiding any uh, sweet pickup items, I guess. I still need Aqua Regia. Laboratory. We were in there, right? It was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Henan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. Okay. I know we've been in here, but it said we needed the right apparatus, and I wonder. Oh, we definitely need that laudanum now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use it. Oh gosh darn, how do we use it then? Well, apparently we just had to try harder. Smash bottles with these boxes. Can we squish any of these bugs that keep hissing at us? Can't even see where they are right now. What's 
in this. Nothing much. Oh yeah, yeah, um, some of those FFZ emotes are from the anime Nietzsche Joe. Um, yeah, I won't be able to see them on my mobile app, which is how I'm doing chat, but, oh yeah, might as well alt-tab and make the <laughs> chat respawn. Oh, shut up, game. This last time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Won't let us take whatever it is. Uh, that drawer is ornamental. I mean, we have 11 tinder boxes. Might be a mistake to use one for this, but. this place out, didn't we? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lose one, gain one. Oh, there's another. Do these respawn? No, I think I'm supposed to come here. I think I'm supposed to come back here because there was that flashback. Um, I don't think the game would just respawn them like that. There's a little... Um, oh, I guess it's just a stand. to know what the name of that was. I'd have to play Oblivion again because they have all these um, things like alchemy equipment that allows you to make better potions with them, so. Um, but I can't remember what's what right now. None of these things are glowing. Do I go then? Um.
are things that could be open, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, Alright, let's go back up. There's nothing for us yet. Man, I had that lantern up that that long. It was the longest I unnecessarily had it up, but... if I don't, you know, find some new area. It's kind of a joke to even try, but... find the area that'll have um, Aqua Regia. I mean, if you don't remember offhand, that's okay, but... Um, I can't even find the door to start that area.
Okay. We're not bad off. just doomed to wander these same, what, three areas for all eternity? <laughs> See, these wind sounds are getting my hopes up like I'm going the right way, but I can't get into the archives at this moment. Try not to get too spoiled when I'm looking it up. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea, while the caravan moved the land, appeared motionless, but something something sand. That'd be where Wilhelm was chest bursted very unceremoniously. So, not in here. Not in here. Da 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 do, da 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 do. I like that you can crouch through these. I like that feature. It's not something everyone would think of, and that's precisely why I love it. Just that attention detail. I heard someone walking around. Uh, 
Okay. So it's somewhere in here. Not in there. Ugh, I'm gonna have to light a tinderbox, aren't I? Uh. Or I'm gonna have to use a tinderbox to light something. I didn't go in this room, did I? Fair enough. I'm gonna have to hide in here, aren't I? Well, we might as well evacuate what is in here. Let's be wise about this. Oh. What juicy things might this have? Nothing, apparently. Um. Yeah, let's get any unnecessary things out. And... Let's close this door. And let's light this. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Uh, Gerich, these are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg, Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. Brennenburg. I can't remember the num numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... <clears throat> Joy. Alright. Let's take this bad baby and get in the closet. I have no idea what we're hiding from. nothing what is that walking darn it stop making me doubt myself
here comes Daniel just traipsing across everything loud. Crunch, 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 crunch. It's like Ellie in The Last of Us. She could be the most obnoxious, most conspicuous um, escort character and not alert any um, infected um, like attention. And Joel can make the slightest misstep and then all of, all of a sudden he's um, clicker for you. Oh, screw you. I shouldn't be saying that, but oh well. We're at this point now. <laughs> no. Um. Alright, let's get into the light first. Then we can do stuff in the laboratory. Shut up. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Wow, it actually waited for us to read that. Aqua Regia, right? Not Aqua Fortis. Right. 
does seem to go the same way. No. Ah, uh, this is like, it feels like a Wii game where they just, like, forced motion controls where they don't belong. Like, this feels like that. So... What am I waiting for here? Off. Let's light this back up. Um, no. What's this? Um. have collapsed, find a way to climb back up. <sighs> Do I look like I'm MacGyver? Okay, so th that must be with these pallets that keep appearing back here after I throw them, or four. So, let's try to rectify that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I like how this game has gone from scary to so done with your crap. <laughs> I've become a little sass master. <laughs> sliding down at all. You know what, I'm not even gonna question it. Works in my favor, I think. So. No, I think we'll get more use out of these boxes, honestly. The... The boxes and the barrels have pretty good physics, I'll say that. Aside from that, um, animation where the one barrel is supposed to knock me out. Um, they're pretty solid. The 
barrels are probably gonna have to be first. And then that. Um. Mm -mm. You thought you could get away. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh wait, we don't need to make the pallets slanted, that's right. But, we might as well try it. <laughs> now that we've come this far. Oh. Wow, what an insightful hint! I never would have deduced that on my own. Sandfield ground. There should be a hyphen in Sandfield. Stay out of my way. the other some other things too um, achievement unlocked alchemist removed the shadows residue in the entrance hall and amnesia the dark descent is every Achievement for this game gonna say an amnesia the dark descent. What exactly did that? Oh, the shadows residue. Did an achievement just spoil stuff for us? <laughs> unlimited of this? Ah, no. Unfortunately. So we have to go back to the laboratory. Great. Well, I don't know if we have to do it right now.
It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. going a bit further. Probably gonna have to end stream at some point, but... I have no idea what that's about. I just noped out of there. For no particular reason. whatever it is. 
this. That room is blocked off. Find another way in. Okay. We got this. since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Was there ever a complete orb? Quite a tiny throw to cause all that breakage. <laughs> you thought you could get away from me. How cute.
Just trying to leap on top of it glitches it out. Or no, it was already glitched out, that's why I couldn't leap on top of it. Wow, this is vexing. Um... Right. already. Not wasting so much oil. I mean, we're doing it for a tinderbox anyway. It'd be the same as if we never tried to get it. That's how our sanity improves. Slight headache. Let's not use the law of them right away. Let's wait to get hurt more and then see how much it heals us. Stop it a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw the thing getting darker and now I was just turning away from the light. Of course. So this can't open? Ah. Check that out. The rug won't pull the hatch open. Something must be clogging the pulley. Okay. 
Okay, so healing at a few cuts and bruises wouldn't be wasting it. <sighs> That's why. So what was it saying? Open. Something must be going fully. Ah. What is this then? So if you stay in the residue too long, I guess. Um, I guess um, it'll just damage you. Alright, we need to climb on top of it with another barrel. Or a box. doing the right stick to Tracing diagonal lines on my mouse pad right now. Come on. Burning all that oil. I guess that's all the further it goes that way. So I should be turning it the other way. Nice. One way over 
go in that room. Let's see what else is around. I'll end it when I um, go down that trap door. I think that's what I'll end the stream, but I just want to check everything out. Hmm. Looky here. If I can actually select it, that would be nice. I saw human legs and I was like, there's a body in here? And then tacked one at that? Wow, those bottles are not only like Heineken quality bottles. I feel the need hey, to continue Trevor. this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. 
They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were. Yeah, changing. that's right. You are in upstream. I was streams. terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Doing pretty good. Um, let me get back in the light and recheck that. Um, I didn't quick catch all that. Um, all right, finest geologists in London. They were changing. Uh, rocks change form, but it collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Um, how does that? situation oh uh, which door do I open this is way back from which I came I think yep and what's this that scared me that boom sound of just my character tripping on himself apparently Okay, so let's go down the trap door. Um, we're gonna end stream after we do that. Um, okay. Ooh, haven't had grilled cheese in a while. I've been thinking about making some grilled cheese and tomato soup. I have some yellow American cheese. Usually I get white American, but this time I have yellow, and yellow is a little better for grilled cheese. Okay, I got that. me it's it's just a little bit scary but it's more offensive to me <laughs> I feel like I've been wronged in some major way uh, watch it's gonna close on me all right surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation.
Daniel's dead. Keep out of the water. And you're gonna place me right in it again, aren't you? You know what? I'm just gonna save here. I need some healthy distance. So, uh... Okay, so we're gonna return to this next Tuesday. Um, Mondays and Thursdays are nights when I do uh, Higurashi no Nakakoroni, which is a horror visual novel. Um, it's good fun. It's like an anime fan, Silent Hill. But um, that's what I'm gonna be doing this Thursday night. And Tuesdays, we're gonna continue with Amnesia. And then after we complete the blind playthrough of this, uh, then we'll switch to the Whistleblower DLC, which will also be blind for me, because I did the main quest, but I didn't do Whistleblower. For Outlast, I should specify. Um, so, yeah, I'd be looking forward to that, and, um, yeah, this was, well, this is a scare and a half, so, uh, thank you all so much for watching, everyone, and as always, if you like what you see, please feel free to click, like, Comment, follow, join our Discord if you haven't. Any feedback you can give me at all will help me tailor my future content towards your interests. I'm Regulus Pastor, and until next time, Wale!